The Roman Empire. After Julius Caesar's death in 44 BCE, Romans preferred dictatorship to chaos. Octavian, his successor, gradually took control. He became the first emperor. Octavian was Caesar's nephew. He was an able politician, getting himself elected as consul in the year after year. He called himself princeps, which means first citizen in Latin, not king. Renamed Augustus, he reorganized the government and empire and imposed peace. Under him, trade extended as far as East Africa, India, and China, and the empire's towns, roads, and territories grew even larger. Emperors relied more on army than on the Roman people for support. Patricians no longer had great power. Many had moved to rich country estates and far provinces. Most of the Roman em emperors chose their successors. Some unpopular or controversial ones were disposed of by soldiers. In AD, 60, AD 68 to 69, four emperors were deposed in one year. And from AD 100, Rome was ruled by strong emperors Trajan, Hadrian, Antonida, Antoninus, and Marcus Aurelius. Marcus Aurelius, sorry. Blech. Most of whom were not actually Roman. By AD 117, the empire had grown too large, and Rome's soldiers could no longer be paid with booty, slaves, and land taken in conquest. The burden on Rome grew. Soldiers joined the army to gain rewards of promotion, land, or power, especially if they were not Roman. This means that soldiers dominated the empire and its colonies, becoming landowners and the ruling class. The army was very international, uh, often hiring barbarians as mercenaries, Legions fought in such faraway places as Scotland, Morocco, and Arabia. Roads, forts, and border walls were built to maintain security. The final conquests in the century following Augustus had been in Britain, Syria, Palestine, and Egypt. The Jews and the British had been difficult to beat, and the Parthians impossible. However, most of the conquered peoples adapted. People in Gaul, North Africa, Syria, Britain, and Hungary adopted Roman ways and thought of themselves as Roman citizens. Running a huge empire was difficult, and it was united by business, not religious or ethnic ties. Provincial peoples were allowed to get on with their lives as long as they obeyed the rules set by the Romans. <laughs>